Gentlemen, it's 2020. Do not, I repeat, do not let your woman buy you your new PlayStation 5. Do not let her buy you your new Xbox Series X or S. Don't. Do not. I repeat, do not. I stress, do not. It will only lead to disaster. Why not? Especially if you like this woman. Now, if you are a cold hearted individual with the mindset of getting yourself a free new next gen system and GTFO and out of there, then go for it. For you genuine gentlemen with women you care, adore, love that significant other in your life, don't let these motherfuckers buy you your new PlayStations and Xboxes. It will only lead to disaster now i'm not speaking for all women some women are great and this is where i jump into the meat and potatoes you break up with your woman mutual okay it's not working out we go all separate ways you keep that 600 dollars dress i bought for you you keep that 500 dollars gaming system i bought for you we'll go all separate ways wish each other the best now you break up with a toxic ass woman, man, she's gonna hang that shit over your head every freaking day. She's going to start comparing herself to that system. Women do this all the time. They do it all the time when you have your own gaming system. Or you'd rather play the PlayStation 4 than come stay with me in bed. Or you'd rather play the PlayStation than come hang out with me. I've been with you all week. The one day, I want to focus on myself. I can't have that. No, you can't have that. And they don't even buy the system. Now imagine if she bought the system. Imagine if she bought the Xbox. Jesus, the nagging. You will not you will regret it. You will regret it. She will use every opportunity. She will use every chance she gets to remind you that she bought you that. Now, if you're willing to deal with that, that's fine. You know, that's good. But I just say spare yourself the headache. Spare yourself the botherance. Don't bother with that. Don't let her buy you that system. Because when she breaks up, she's going to want to take it. I remember my ex was trying to buy me all kinds of sneakers. I'm not even a sneakerhead. I guess I, ha I have a small collection of sneakers. Not no Yeezys. Not no latest Air Jordans or nothing like that. I don't even own an Air Jordan. I don't. I, I just don't care for sneakers like that. So she was trying to buy me all the new sneakers for my birthday and I was like no thank you I'm good so she ended up buying me art an art book instead and when we broke up guess what she tried to do she tried to take the art book are you serious so what if that was a PlayStation 5 you're gonna you're, you're gonna take it imagine playing your new game having a good time and you just had a fight with your girlfriend. A really small fight, but you know how women are. She took it personally. She's holding a grudge. She doesn't want to let it go. And she comes up behind you and says, turn that bitch off. Bitch, turn my shit off. Bitch, fucking takes the HDMI cord out or the power cord and like, bitch, turn my PlayStation off. Whole time it was an Xbox. <laughs> if you are on the fence about your woman, you don't feel too comfortable with her, follow your gut. Don't let this woman buy you a system she will hold it over your head forever she will remind you that she bought you that system you can say oh it's hard gaming is so expensive i can't afford to buy it right now motherfucker save i personally am not a fan of working yeah i said it if i had my way i would stay home all day and get paid to do nothing i wish i could have that unfortunately i can't because of the world we live in today so i need a job now, if I needed extra money on the side to buy myself a new system, guess what I'll do? I'll work extra hours. If I can't work extra hours, I'll save. I'll save. Now, some of you people would rather not go that route. I want your woman to buy it for you. Just go for it. Do you. But like I said, be wary. Expect it. Expect the nagging. Expect the belittlement. Expect the reminders. And if you don't want any of that, my nigga, just go buy you your own Xbox Series S. Look at this motherfucker, man. Look at this motherfucker right here, bro. It's cheap. 
This motherfucker is $299, the cheapest Xbox. Just go get it. Get this. Get it. It's cheap. It's small. A $300 console. Just buy this for yourself. Don't let your woman buy it for you. German, it's about time we acted a lot like men. It's about time we carried our weight. Now, for you gentlemen who are artists of the finesse game, hey, go for it, man. All power to you. And you guys know yourselves. If you're not a finesse king or nothing like that, best to stay away from this and just handle it yourself. So, yeah. Don't rely on a woman. Go out there and buy yourself a new Xbox. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. It's a short video trying to remind you. Don't let your woman buy you the new Xbox or the new PlayStation and you PC gamers. I'm not talking to you guys in particular because not a lot of women are into PC gaming like that or even know about it. And more than likely, you guys will build your own system. So I treat you guys with a bit more respect than our console colleagues. And I'm a PC guy. I'm a console guy. But still, don't let your woman buy your parts or your system. Have a wonderful day and peace. Don't. Do not let this woman emasculate you. Don't let her push your buttons. Don't give her the opportunity to do so. And I know you could say, why be with a woman that will treat you as such? One of us probably is with a woman who will treat us as such, but we don't know. But we have a gut feeling we are. So in the meantime, take my advice. Don't let this woman buy your system. She will push your buttons. She will try to downplay your character as a man. My fellow brothers and kings, do not let her. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, for real.